Good morning, everybody. I'm here from Florida. <laughs> so we just had another um, hurricane and I think there's more out there. I'm not quite sure, but um, it was crazy because I just got hurt, like brand new hurricane windows installed throughout my whole house. And I'm not like in cahoots with Home Depot or Lowe's or anything, but I would 100% definitely try to do that if you live over by the coast or in Florida, like I do, because I did not hear a thing the whole night and I was so lucky and I feel so bad for the people that were not lucky through this storm that lost everything because I literally didn't hear anything. I never lost power and I walked outside and honest to God, I had a plan out there. Clearly I brought my big, I got rid of my big stuff that was out on my back you know, porch, but there was a plant out there and it didn't even tip over. It was so wild. I got so lucky with the storm and I am not uh, thinking I'll be as lucky with every single one, but it was, I just couldn't believe it when I woke up because there was like, when I went outside, there was like trees and stuff all over the place. It was a terrible hurricane. So let's say prayers for those people. And if we can help them in any way, let's help them out. I have this really, um, you know, I've always had dreams that have happened. As you guys know, I have a stellium in the 12th house with a, a Scorpio stellium in the 12th house, three or more planets in that house. So um, even before I started doing this work professionally, I've always had prophetic dreams. And lately over the past year and a half, year and a half about, they've really, really intensified. Um, and I'm not only getting messages for everyone, but I'm getting specific messages about people I can't trust and who to let go and, and everything else. And the stuff is happening. It's wild. You know, I still don't even understand how this stuff works. I just was born with that in my chart, but um, I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot more, unfortunately, natural disasters. Um, I'm not a very political person, so I don't know much about that stuff. I'm more interested in the stars and the planets and all that kind of stuff. But it just seems like right before an election, like all this bad stuff happens. We have pandemics, we have like these worst destructive hurricanes, whatever. I don't know what you guys do over on the West Coast with the fires, but my thing is to please if, if there's any way, I never lived on the West Coast. I'm a native Floridian. So if you guys can, is there anything you can do for your houses to make sure that they're safe? And, and again, you guys out here, think about those hurricane windows. I mean, we can't control mother nature or whoever it is doing it, but at least we can try to be as safe as possible. So that was my little rant about that. I did want to give everybody a little bit warning. I do feel like there is more things coming. It's not just in Florida. So, um, that we need to have our guard up and of course say your prayers. Um, happy birthday, Libra. I'm not making this video about Libra because I will my next one about the seventh house because I know I try to break down the where the houses are for you guys, what planets and stuff because Libra rules the seventh house. But sorry I'm late, I, I had a cold and then I had the hurricane and a whole bunch of other stuff and I just haven't been making videos. I kind of make them when I feel like making them to be honest with you, I don't, YouTube is not my job so I don't get paid for this. This is just free information but which leads me to those timestamps. I know when and I do uh, feel like doing predictive videos. We have an eclipse coming up in a couple days and I may or may not do videos on that. I wanna thank you guys that write the timestamps down there. Um, I have a Mars Uranus aspect uh, conjunct my Scorpio ascendant. So I am not, uh, I'm not the world's most patient person with anything that takes too long. Even when I do predictions, they're very, very quick. Um, I don't plan these, these videos. I don't, you know, write things down. It's what I feel like saying, what I'm inspired to say. And I'm always, I want to give people free information because I just feel like I want to give back a little bit. So those predictions that I do are all free information. Clearly, um, you know, this is YouTube. I'm not charging anybody for that stuff, but I do want to thank you guys that actually go in and put in those timestamps for me. I think that's really sweet. And um, maybe if I see you out one day, I can buy you a cup of coffee for that. Um, but today I want to talk about that Scorpio. Oh yeah, 12ns.com, of course, uh, if you want uh, some astrology information. And there's so much information on 12ns.com astrologically. Um, go to 12ns.com slash PDFs and put in my coupon code, which is 20 off Joanna. Um, because it is important to know, not just your sun sign, as you guys know, where are those planets, what houses, what's your rising sign, what's the final dispositor, you know, <coughs> what degree is everything at? It's, there's just, it's so, it's so important to know. <clears throat> 
but I do get a lot of requests for videos on Scorpio. And, you know, I do feel I, I do feel as though I can talk about Scorpios because I know somebody wrote to me because he got he or she, I'm not sure what that was, but got their panties in a wad because they said I shouldn't be telling people that I have all these planets in Scorpio because it's very narcissistic to do on my own channel. <laughs> so, um, but I'm going to say it again. So I'm sorry if I make anybody mad. I am a Scorpio sun in the West, a Scorpio rising, moon in Scorpio, Mars in Scorpio, North node in Scorpio, Uranus in Scorpio, and I do have a stellium in the 12th house of Neptune psychic ability, dreams, and intuition. So I'm going to talk about Scorpios and I'm going to talk about that, that Scorpio sting, what it is, why it happens. Okay. And I, I talked about this before in other videos. So if I'm reiterating myself, I apologize. Scorpio is not an evil sign. I just want you guys to get that out of your head. I know a lot of great Scorpios. It is the sign of transformation. Now, when you think about the little insect, right? there's a reason why that's the symbol for Scorpio because what do they do? They go and they sting you and then they retreat and then you don't see it coming necessarily, right? But then they sting themselves They and that's the legend. I don't even know if that's true. Do they really sting themselves to death? I don't know, but it is a self-destructive sign. It can be on the negative. Scorpios, and I'm talking about my Scorpio suns, my Scorpio risings, my Scorpio moons, my Mars and Scorpio, Venus and Scorpio, Ver uh, Mercury and Scorpio, or a lot of planets over there in the eighth house, you guys, you will become self-destructive if you're not being creative. That's the way. It's either create or destroy. That's the Scorpio thing. I don't care if you write, if you, if you do photography, if you create businesses. I don't know what creed. Usually you guys are pretty creative. If people have a lot of Scorpio, you guys need to be creative. That's how you get rid of your self-destructive tendencies. Now, as far as that sting goes, what does the sting feel like? We've all been the recipient of a Scorpio sting. We all have. I mean, I'm, I've got, you know, the majority of my chart in Scorpio um, in the West, not in the East. And I've been the recipient of a Scorpio sting. Here's the thing. If they don't trust you, they're going to sting you. And I don't mean like go out and beat you up because that's not a Scorpio trait. That's a trait of somebody who's just stupid. I'm talking about they're going to get away from you. They're going to cut you off. Like I said, I have dreams a lot lately, a lot. And it's crazy because the more I go to church, the more information I get through dreams. It's wild. So, but I believe in guardian angels and they're trying to give me information. So if they don't trust you, they're going to cut you off, you know? And, um, honestly, like I get it. And if a Scorpio cuts me off, I'm okay with that. I mean, I might miss them because then maybe I like the person, but, and I've had that happen. But the thing is, is I don't trust them either. So it's better if we just kind of, we're both kind of picking up on stuff. You know what I mean? So it's such an intuitive sign. So I get it totally. So most Scorpios are not going to go, you know, people will be like, oh, they're so dark and brooding. No, they're not. You think a really a Scorpio is going to show their true colors? I mean, does that insect walk around in broad daylight and you just see them? No, they hide. They're not going to show that side to them, you know? So they're, they're most of them, I find, the ones I've known are a little bit smarter than that. You know what I mean? They're not going to like... They're just not going to go destroy your property and beat you up and whatever because you did them wrong, but they're not going to trust you. They're not going to trust you and you are no longer going to have access to them. And I will tell you guys, it, it's more that if you do a Scorpio wrong, it's more that you don't exist anymore. That's what happens. At first, they're going to get mad because of Mars. You know, they're co-ruled by Mars like an Aries. You know, they're like, ah. they might tell you off or whatever. They may not. They may just go silent, but they may tell you off or they may just tell you what you're doing wrong or what, where they feel, you know, where the relationship went wrong. But basically, you're just not going to exist to them anymore. That's what it is. And, um, and I can tell you, you know, as working as a, and I haven't been doing private readings, I do astrology readings, but I, I'm focused more, you know, honestly, self-centeredly on myself. And that's working for me because I'm getting messages from myself. Um, that if somebody does, I just had a situation where somebody, because I've met some bad people, trust me, when you have a lot of Scorpio, you meet some shady people in your life. Somebody did me wrong and I dreamt about them the other night and I felt like I had to tell them something, like I had to warn them about something and I almost picked up that phone, but then I said, nope, 
they can figure it out on their own. If they hadn't done me wrong, I probably would have called them and warned them. But um, as far as all you guys, if I get a feeling I'm gonna warn you, obviously, like I just said about the weather and all this stuff. But on a personal level, if, cause I feel like I'm loyal to people, if somebody's not loyal to me, um, I don't really feel like I owe them anything, you know? Cause the truth is none of us owe anybody anything. We don't. So I'm so thankful to you guys that do my little timestamps for me on my videos um, because that's just really nice of you. But we don't really owe, I don't owe anybody readings. Nobody owes me anything. It's just the way it is. So that's the stinger. Now, when people are like tit for tatting, it's usually an immature Scorpio. Do you know what I mean? That's usually what it is. Or they're getting into that gray lizard energy or whatever, because most of the time they don't tit for tat. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm above tit for tatting because I've tit for tatted before, but as I get older, I'm like, okay, that's kind of stupid. You know what I mean? I will be self-protective though. If I get a bad feeling, if I feel like somebody's not being honest, I feel like I need to exit stage left. I think that's more the Scorpio thing. They're not so like hell bent on causing other people harm, but they're also not gonna help you when you need help if you have been disloyal to them. That's just all there is to it. And that's to me, not really like bad karma. That's just like, hey, I don't have anything to do with you. You're not in my circle anymore. I don't really have to help you. But if it's a close person who's been good to you, I'll help them out, of course. You know what I mean? Like I remember every good thing everyone's done for me. And I remember every bad thing too. <laughs> so, um, but that is the thing. But the, the thing with you guys, that I want to stress because I see this with Scorpios and that self-destructive side, please get into something creative. And I, I'm not saying that you got to put on the whole beret and, you know, paint a picture like that's not everybody's thing or, you know, start playing the piano or whatever, but just start a business, do something creative, do something to get yourself out of that stinging yourself over and over and over again. And I have uh, learned this as a Scorpio, you know, I just have, that's just, and I've watched other ones and I've studied astrology since I was eight years old. So I see, and I get premonitions and I get dreams and stuff like that. So I see that with people all the time. And that's what I want to share today about the Scorpio stinger. I think it's, we all have Scorpio somewhere in our chart. Some people just have a lot of Scorpio. They're very Scorpio. They're very Pluto, you know? I think too, uh, the, we need the stinger a little bit because otherwise, you know, people will mistake us for uh, Pisces. <laughs> um, so, because it's it's human, it, it's a good thing to be nice to people, it is. But once you find out, you know, what somebody's true character is, it's better to um, be self-protective. I truly do believe this. Disengage from that person. Stay in your own lane. I just did a little interview on this, how I've really learned to stay in my own lane. Their problems are not my problems. And that's just all there is to it. Unless you're like my mom or my sister or whatever. Like nobody else's or one of my animals' problems are my problems. And my problems aren't their problems. So we're not responsible for other people's lives. But I've noticed if we don't have a little bit of that sting or a little bit of that cut off. And I've seen people, especially with a lot of Pisces or Neptune or whatever, uh, get walked on. You know, get walked on. And I'm not saying you have to be mean or whatever. But if you have been stung by one. And they're all violent and stuff. That's not Scorpio. That's more, like I said, like ignorance and stuff like that. Um, if you have been stung, meaning they've cut you off, they're feeling something. They're feeling something about you. And that's what it comes down to. They are one of the most self-protective signs you're ever going to meet. They're very loyal, but they're also very not loyal. If you're loyal to them, if you're not loyal to them. So hopefully this answers again. I will have that seventh house stuff out for you guys um soon and i hope everybody you know is is I, i'm really i really am praying for you guys who have lost everything and um uh where i am it's not i'm not too far from the beach though it's crazy how i just how it worked out but um just keep praying and keep the the faith with all these like disasters that are happening all over the place right now all right i'll see you guys next time bye